is Fred Marsh. Fred was born January 5th, 1924 in Valley Falls, Kansas. He made his Major League debut with Cleveland and then in 1951 joined the St. Louis Browns and was with them twice in 1952. He then finished his career with stints with the Chicago White Sox and the Baltimore Orioles. Fred currently resides in Corey, Pennsylvania and has been a guest of the Hot Stove Luncheon. He had a seven-year career with a combined batting average of 239. Bill, Bill Beck is quoted as saying his most monumental mistake was hiring Rogers Hornsby. And that when Roger Hornsby was finally fired, your teammate Gene Bearden said that they should declare a national holiday. What's your reaction to Rogers Hornsby? Rogers Hornsby was the worst manager I ever saw in my life. <laughs> <laughs> he, I'll tell you what he did one day. Les Moss was a catcher. Les Moss couldn't run fast enough to whatever, you know. And uh, Les Moss is on second base, and there's one out, and the score is tied about the eighth inning. Somebody singles. Les runs to third base, stops there. Rogers Hornsby sent a pinch runner in for him. Uh, you know, <laughs> if he had sent a pinch runner in for him, the inning, the man before, we'd have won the ball game. You know, to be a manager in the big leagues, why, you got to be managing about an inning or two ahead all the time, and. Uh, and Roger was about an inning behind all the time. <laughs> That's just, and he, and then he was a, uh, you know, he never would go out to take a pitcher out, you know that, you know that. No. He, he, no, he never walked out to the mound to take a pitcher out. He just sat on the edge of the dugout, and he'd just say the ump time. Call the guy in from the bullpen. The guy would come in from the bullpen, and the pitcher would walk in, and that's it. He wouldn't go out. Uh, and of course the pitchers didn't like that, you know. And so finally the pitchers, pitchers got so when they, when the guy started in from the bullpen, the pitcher just throw the ball on the ground and walk away. He wouldn't even he wouldn't even stay and hand it to the other guy. But I'm a lemon. Yeah. I was. I was. I was. I was. I was a pretty decent fastball hitter, and uh, and but but lemon was a sink, sinker ball curveball pitcher good curveball and uh, he used to he gave me a fit. Didn't Lehman start in the outfield and move to pitching? I think he base. was a third baseman yeah. in the, in yeah. the minor Bill, leagues. Yeah. Yeah, but we were playing a game in St. Louis and uh, of course Cleveland and the Yankees were <clears throat> fighting pretty much for the pennants in those years. They both had good good clubs, Rosen and, and uh, Boone and and the Garcia and Wynn and Feller and Lemon. <clears throat> when I was pitching this ball game, it was about the seventh inning. It was a, it was a down in either late in the year. I don't know if it was September or not. But they were pretty. They and the Yankees were pretty close, and uh, they were beating us by two runs. And I come up the plate in about the seventh inning, and uh, there was two men on. And uh, and he he threw about three or four pitchers, and he had me. I swung a couple of times and didn't come close. I don't know what in the world ever made me do it, but he he threw a pitch, and I run up in the box a little bit, and I hit that thing and hit it out of the ballpark. You never saw. He followed me all the way around the bases. <laughs> told me if I ever did that again, he was going to stick one right in my ear. And, <laughs> I don't know if that's the only hit I ever got off of or not. It may have been. <laughs> when I was playing, the best player, I think, that, uh, and I don't think anybody else ever come really close, was uh, Mays. You know, he was just, there was nothing that he couldn't do. He could throw, he could run, he stole 40, 50 bases, hit 40, 50 home runs, hit 3, 20 or 30, you know, what in the world? And a terrific outfielder. 
I don't, you know, he just didn't have a weakness. And there's very few people like that. Did your paths cross with his any place? Uh, I played against him a couple times in spring training. That's all. Ball player. Real good ball Did player. he have a record for being hit by pitch the most times? I just don't know. <laughs> we were playing. In fact, Trucks, Trucks was pitching in this ball game too. And <coughs> Trucks hit him. And of course, many got hit a lot, and he didn't say anything. But we had a guy pitching for us, a left-hander named Maury Martin. And <clears throat> so, <clears throat> the next inning, after many got hit, why <clears throat> Detroit came up to bat, and nothing happened. The next inning after that, trucks came up to bat. And of course, this is you know two innings later after many got hit and nobody's you know and uh, the first pitch why he downed trucks and well you know everybody whoa 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 well okay all right uh, you know so next pitch boom down he goes again <laughs> now everybody's kind of you know kind of <laughs> getting kind of a little bit edgy a little bit but all right next pitch down he goes again Three straight times he downed him. Now all all of a sudden everybody's out on the edge of the dugouts, <laughs> you know, kind of, and the umpire call, calls the managers out, you know, and, and they you know get this thing. So okay, that was that that was the end of it. But he downed him three straight times. Who made that decision to do that? He did himself. He did himself. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you know how pictures run, stay in shape, like that. Page never ran a step in his life. I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> He thought that he thought that was a waste of time. What kind of hitter was he? He, did, he just swung the bat. He didn't hit anything. How it is that in the same year you got you were in St. Louis, they got 52 for about 12 games, and they got brought back to the Browns. How that? Happened? Well, that's Vec. Uh, <clears throat> so Vec called me in, and he said, uh, and he says we're trading you to Washington. Okay, I've been traded before. Uh, so I went to Washington, and I was there, I think I was there about a month, and, uh, and then he, he, he brought me back. And I says, what's going on? And he says, you know, Fred, he said, I've never been able to make a deal with that guy, and he wanted you. He said, I knew I could get you back. <laughs> <laughs> he said, the only reason I traded you over there is because he, he said, I've never been able to make it. That's the first deal I ever made with that guy. <laughs> <laughs> But while I was over there, something happened. That, that was a, this is a good story. Eddie Yost, good leadoff man, oh, yeah. uh, kind of a tough kid, and uh, and he could hit the ball out of a ballpark on you. And uh, we're playing, and uh, Ollie Reynolds is pitching, and and Yost stood fairly close to the plate, <clears throat> and so so Ollie was going to knock him down, I guess. He threw, Yost is standing up there like this, and Yost goes like this, like that, and bunts the ball about halfway back to the pitcher and runs down the first base. <laughs> that Reynolds about that. He walked around there chewing his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> he, just, he just hit it right there, just bunted it right back towards the mound and run down the first base. Mantle was tough. I played third base quite a lot against, against Mantle. It was tough. I mean, he could bunt and run, and and he could hit the ball hard. Uh, he he hit me one day. He had to play about even with a bag on him because he, the way he could run, and uh, <clears throat> and he hit a ball right at me that hit about five feet out in front of me. Well, there's you know you can't catch the ball. All you can do is just go like this, you know, and the ball hit me right there. And I had seams on that in my skin. It must have been for two weeks. I mean, that ball bounced up, and I, I threw him out all right. But it was, you know, just lucky. Gosh, I don't know. I didn't have that many. <laughs> You'd think I'd remember one. Well, like that one, that home run I hit off Lemon. I, uh, that, that I remember that because he made me remember it. <laughs> <laughs>